Good morning, stampers and crafters. It's Maria Russell here with you today, and I am back for Newton's Nook Design. And this week we are collaborating with ThermoWeb, and they have generously sent us a few goodies to play with. They have sent us the new flock transfer sheets, and it kind of has this fuzzy texture to it. They sent us a couple, and this is the white. We've got a yellow, very pretty, and then the green Envy. Orange Glow, which I will be using for a Halloween project. And this is Think Pink, very pretty. And another perfect for Halloween is this Purple Punch. And this one is, I'm in love with this one. This one is called Black Velvet. And the last thing that I have is Blue Diamond. And they also sent us some Glitz glitter gel to try and then they also sent us this deco foil metallics gel and this one also works like the glitz glitter gel where you don't need a laminator to actually use this and then i have a clear designer toner sheets that i got from last year's collaboration that i am also going to use today i also would like to take this opportunity to thank thermo web for spoiling the newton snook design team you sent us a lot of products to play with. I will sure be using all of these products that you guys have sent me and I will be sharing them on my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. To get started, I'm going to be using the Newton Snook Design Sweater Weather Stamp Set. I will also be using the Land Border Dies, which is this one right here. The Gina K Fancy Foil by Thermal Web. And this is the red velvet. Here are the two cards that I will be making today. This one is a shaker card and using the designer toner sheet with the flock transfer sheet here. And this one uses the flock transfer sheet with an embossing folder from Crafter's Companion. And I'm also going to be using the flock transfer sheet, the yellow color. So let's get started. I started by cutting this flock transfer sheet in white and then I will be using this nice 2D embossing folder by Crafters Companion. This is a cut and emboss embossing folder and the flock transfer sheet is actually perfect to be embossed and look at all the details here and I love the fussy velvet look of that flock transfer sheet and then I am also going to cut a piece of this yellow flock transfer sheet and I will just cut enough there to die cut the moon. The embossed piece is sized at 5 by 7 and so my card base is 5 by 7. I will just adhere the embossed piece on my card base using my Nuvo liquid adhesive. And off camera, I stamped and colored my images using my Spectrum Noir Harmony inks and Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. And I die cut the images in with the coordinating dies. This stamp set is one of my favorite because it features four little critters in their cute sweaters and it's just perfect for winter scene. I've also stamped the little mittens and colored them with my Spectrum Noir markers. So I have another piece here of the white flock transfer sheet and I am using my land border die to die cut this piece. And just to give it a little bit more texture and dimension, I am using my foam adhesive to adhere this snowbank. And then I am going to use a die from my stash to die cut this banner piece and then use my stamping tool to stamp the sentiment on this piece. But before I do that, since I will be heat embossing this, I will be using my powder bag to get rid of the static and then stamp the sentiment using my Versamark ink and then I am going to use my heating tool to heat emboss the sentiment.
And now I am ready to assemble the card. I'm going to adhere the little fox here first with some liquid adhesive behind the snowbank. Also add the sentiment banner here with Nouveau liquid adhesive and then add the little bear with both Nouveau and foam adhesive. And since this card is mostly white, I wanted to add a little bit more texture to my background. And so I am going to use this Snowflake Sprinkles by Cat Scrappiness and adhere it all over my background. Now it's time to work on card number two. I'm going to use this old Christmas tree clear designer toner sheet that I got from our collaboration last year, as well as the red velvet foil by Gina K Designs for Thermal Web. My laminator is hot and ready, as you can see with the green light there, and so I am going to foil this piece. I really love doing this, especially when you take the foil, because you can just see the color and shine that transferred to that designer toner sheet. And so before I begin with assembling the card, I have a piece of Bristol Smooth White cardstock here, and I am also using this new cloud stencil by Newton's Nook Designs. I'm using the peacock feathers and my mini ink blending tool to just add the clouds on my background. And now I am ready to begin assembling my shaker window. I adhered this foiled piece on an A2 sized frame with my ATG gun and then added the foam adhesive at the back, making sure that there are no gaps so that the shaker elements will not escape my card. I opted to use the Silver Star Confetti with some snowflake sprinkles and the hard confetti. I use white so that it doesn't distract from already a busy background. I wanted the main focus of this card to be the foiled piece and so I didn't want to use colorful shaker elements. I added this piece to my colored background and used my scissors to cut off the excess because I wasn't perfect on adhering this piece on the colored background. And now I'm ready to add the snow bank. I have a piece of the white flock transfer sheet here that I die cut using the land border die and this time I decided to stamp the sentiment directly onto the flock transfer piece. And right after I added my cute critter on my card, I felt like there was something missing. So I decided to use the mittens that I colored earlier using my markers and I decided to add that to a die that I have from my stash called Precious Mittens. This is by Simon Says Stamp. And I really love this because it's a cute piece. I added the colored mittens to this piece and it made a huge difference on the card design. I adhered those on the right hand side corner of my card and I really think it made it a lot cuter. So that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. If you like the projects, I'd be super grateful if you can kindly give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again, ThermoWeb, for collaborating with Newton's Nook Design Team. We really enjoyed the products that you have provided to us. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy crafting and happy stamping.